Happy holidays! Christmas is coming up, so I made this inequality problem for you. We have three real numbers, A, B, and C, which are all positive, and they satisfy that their product is 32. So I want you to find the minimum value of this expression. Now, this problem, if you are a math enthusiast, or if you love math competitions, or if you just like math in general, then this will be a very pleasant Christmas present. <laughs> so let's delve right into it. Well, okay, before we go right into it, I will say that we will, leave, we will be using some inequality theorems that you might not be immediately familiar with. In that case, I left a link in the description to a document explaining each of the inequalities that we'll be using. It's not that long, I promise you. <laughs> so if you get confused or if you get stuck at any point of the solution, then please feel free to refer to that document. Okay, so <laughs> let's get right into it. Firstly, when I see square terms, I might think of cauchy schwarz inequality. But there is a more direct consequence of cauchy schwarz inequality that we can apply directly to this expression. Actually, it's called Titu's lemma. I'll write it down here. So it's Titu's lemma. Okay, it's a lemma, so. <laughs> but the name is Titu's lemma. So by Titu's lemma, we can actually deduce that this entire expression is greater or equal to a, B, sorry, a plus b plus c, all squared, and then divided by square root of b plus c plus square root of a plus c plus square root of a plus b. Okay, so <laughs> we have this expression. Now, take a look at the denominator. It looks kind of messy because of the square roots, and they're not, you know, square roots are not exactly our best friends in this case. But there is actually an inequality that we can relate square roots to normal numbers quote-unquote normal numbers without square roots. And the perfect tool for that would be the QMAM inequality, also known as the quadratic mean arithmetic mean inequality. Now, I'm going to first write the inequality. I'm going to first write the statement now, and then I'm going to explain why it's true, okay? So by QMAM, we can deduce that this entire expression is actually greater or equal to A plus B plus c all squared, so this doesn't change, okay? And then divided by 3 times the square root of b plus c plus a plus c, and then plus a plus b, and then divided by 3. Okay, so <laughs> why is this true? Well, by QMAM, we can actually deduce that this part over here, which I'm boxing, we can do that by QMAM, this part is actually smaller or equal to this part, okay? So this part is smaller or equal to this part. But because this is in the denominator, notice that the smaller the denominator, the larger the expression. So because this is in the denominator, and because this is smaller, and because this is greater, then this means that the entire expression up here is greater or equal to this entire expression down here. And that's because of QMAM. You can probably see that QMAM is in action because each of these terms are the squares of each of these terms. Okay, now that's, you know, we're done with that. So let's simplify the numerator here over here because, you know, we can just easily simplify that. Break the brackets and then simplify by collecting like terms. So if you were to actually simplify this, then you would actually get 2a plus 2b plus 2c, and then there's still a division over here, and then divided by 3. And of course, there was still the square root. Okay, now, over here, we may take out the 2, okay? We can factor out a 2 from each of these terms, and we can take it out of the square root, but be careful, you have to do square root of 2 then, right? And you can also take out this, you know, square root of 1 over 3. So this would be equal to, so this entire expression is equal to a plus b plus c, all squared, divided by 3 times square root of 2 times square root of 1 over 3, and then times the square root of a plus b plus c. Now, over here, this expression is just equal to square root of 6. You can calculate that for yourself. So this expression over here is equal to square root of 6. And notice that we have a plus b plus c to the second power, 
And down here we have a plus b plus c to the square root, which is just one half power. So when you divide these two, you can just subtract the exponents, two minus one half. So this would be equal to a plus b plus c to the two minus one half, that's three over two, divided by square root of six. Now, take a look at this. We have a sum of a, b, and c, but I would really like a product because we know what their product is. Well, if we want to convert a sum to a product and relate them with an inequality, well, you know what the tool is. If you are familiar with the classic AMGM, arithmetic geometric mean inequality. By AMGM, this expression over here is greater or equal to, and keep in mind, this a plus b plus c by AMGM is greater or equal to three times the cube root of a, b, c. And then this would be to the three over two power. Maybe let's write that three a little bit more clearer. So that's the cube root. And then divided by root of six, that does not change. And there we have it. We know what a, b, c is. We can immediately replace what a, b, is, a, b c is with our 32. So this would be 32. And there we go. We have deduced that this expression is greater or equal to this by Tedu's lemma, greater or equal to this by QMAM, and then finally, greater or equal to this expression by AMGM. Now, whatever this is greater or equal to has to be the minimum value, right? So this is the minimum value. Well, we actually have to prove that it's possible to achieve this value as well. Sure, this just means that it's always gonna be greater or equal to this expression, but it, it doesn't mean that it can achieve this expression. So we have to also show that it can achieve this. First of all, let's simplify this because this is a huge mess. So firstly, uh, we can first write this expression as I'm going to write over here. So that, that would be three times. And then the cube root is just equal to 32 to the one over three power, right? And then there's a three over two power here and then divided by square root of six which I will also write as, you know, a fractional power. So <laughs> we can we can subtract exponents and, you know, do whatever we need to in case that shows up. So we have six to the one half there, okay. So now we're going to distribute this three over two power to three and this term as well. So this would be three to the three over two times 32 to the one over three times three over two. Well, would you look at that? This three and three cancel out. So this would just be 32 to the one half power. So let's replace that with one half power. And then here we have six to the one half. Okay, now 32 to the one half power is actually equal to, it would be equal to four times the square root of two, which would be equal to two to the one half power, okay? So now we can actually deduce that this is equal to, we can break three to the three over two power up as three to the one times three to the one half, right? Because the exponents will add to three over two and then multiply it by two to the one half times four times six to the one half. I'm sorry, it's a bit clumped up, but as you can see over here, this three times two, you can take out the one half power. So that would be, so I'm actually gonna er erase it. <laughs> so this would be, if you take out the one half power, this would be six to the one half power. But then six to the one half, this over here, they cancel out. So it's just three to the one times four. So this would be equal to 12. <laughs> so actually this expression over here is just equal to 12. And there we have it. This is our nice and neat expression. Now, of course, we, I said that we have to prove that this is achievable. Well, by the AMGM condition for equality, notice that we applied AMGM on A plus B plus C. So therefore, the, the equality condition requires that A is equal to B is equal to C, right? And furthermore, if this is true, then this would mean that using this expression, they would have to be equal to the cube root. Okay, let me write that three a little bit more clearer. So this would be equal to the cube root of 32. And this would be our values for A, B, and C if we want to reach minimum. Now you can actually plug in cube root of 32 for A, B, and C into this expression, and you'll see that it does equal to 12. And we, we proved that it was always greater or equal to 12, so this is our minimum. So that's going to be it for this Christmas problem. Um, I just thought it was a very nice problem to give to those 
who love math and who wants to still train their brain for some reason on Christmas Day. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this interesting, then please do consider dropping a like and subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye.